welcome back to the channel. Okay, so the other day it was a lovely bright April morning and I thought it was perfect time to make a catch-up video following the, the introduction video I made a, a month or two ago about the lightweight, the lightweight Land Rover that I'm restoring. This whole restoration project is not to get the the vehicle into a, a showroom condition. I could never do that. I don't. I'm not skilled enough to do that. However, I, what I do want to do is get it into a a daily working condition. As you can see, the vehicle is currently being used for storage. There are the half finished rear seats that I'm that I'm working on. There are a spare tire and a crate full of bits and bobs. The centre console is complete, all of the wiring is done and I do need to add the cover for the windscreen wiper motor. This is the driver side door which I made from 25mm square steel tubing and 0.8mm thick steel sheet. The keen eyed will notice that it doesn't have the holes for the door tops. However, I do have a plan to hinge the door tops, allowing them to be folded down uh, when not in use, instead of having to unbolt them. All of the main body panels are painted uh, Battleship Grey. However, there are one or two s smaller panels that do need finishing. The steering box has a small amount of surface rust, but this can be easily treated. I used IP66 rated junction boxes when fitting the wiring, with one in each corner of the vehicle. The wings also need the splash guards fitting, as well as undercoating. The underside of the tub is already painted with chassis paint, however I do intend to spray it with underseal. I also need to mount the toolboxes which go on the underside of the tub in the wheel arches. The underside of the vehicle is in good condition, however there are small amounts of rust on the leaf springs. The chassis is galvanised, it's been painted with etch primer and a thick coating of chassis paint. The front axle has been completely rebuilt with new gaskets and seals. There are a few minor spots of rust on the prop shafts. However, all of the bearings have been replaced and fitted with gaiters. When I rebuilt the wheel hub, I was missing two bolts. These can easily be replaced. All of the wheel rims were taken down to bare metal and treated with etch primer. I also treated it to a new set of tyres. All of the exhaust parts were replaced, however it does show signs of surface rust. This will need to be treated. The rear axle has also been rebuilt from the ground up with all of the gaskets and seals replaced. The overall colour scheme I'm going for is Battleship Grey and Matte Black. The canvas top is made from three parts, one along the top and two on each side. The material it's made from when it was originally bought was matte black. However, in less than a year it has faded in the sunlight to this grey. My intention is to make new panels which don't fade in sunlight. This will be from a different material. However, I will use these panels as templates. I would like to fully recondition the steering wheel. All of the track rods have been cleaned and painted. However, I would like to replace the track rod ends with brand new ones and the locking clips. The front grille and panel are in fairly good condition, 
However, there is a small area in the bottom right hand corner where some corrosion has gone through. It doesn't affect the structure of the panel, however it's there and I would like to repair it. The engine bay is clean and tidy. I replaced the radiator with a brand new one. The air filter has been reconditioned. The brake and clutch master cylinders are also brand new. The fuel line also needs replacing with suitable hosing. Although it doesn't look it, the engine is in fairly good condition. It has relatively low mileage at about 60,000. However, it has stood unused for a good few years and the carburetor needs a good cleaning. As you can see, the vehicle is in fairly good condition with only a few minor jobs needed. So over the next few months I'll be doing these. Thanks for watching.